we're looking at this integral here and uh it's kind of complicated <laughs> so you know how should we approach this um well, when we see x squared plus y squared uh let's try to remember that we can use polar coordinates because if x equals r cosine theta and y equals r sine theta and we try to square that uh we'll have um you know, r squared cosine squared, uh, r squared sine squared. And if we try to add those two, then we're gonna get r squared cosine squared plus r squared sine squared. And uh, we can pull out the r squared and this will just become a one. So like, it's really easy. Cause so we'll just plug in the r squared into this whole thing. And uh, yeah, so when we make the conversion to polar, polar, polar coordinates, we're gonna have to do a couple things though. First, we need to realize what dA is. So dA is r dr d theta. So we'll have to make that replacement in there. And then we'll have to figure out what these limits are. Since this is covering the entire plane, we're gonna have to sort of use the same type of um, limits in the, in the polar system, which would essentially be if theta was going from zero to two pi, and if r was from zero to infinity. If we had that situation, then that would be the exact same thing. So with all these replacements in mind, let's try to make the new integration. Well, we're gonna have to set it up in order. So theta goes on the outside, it's gonna be zero to two pi. And then we have zero to infinity on the inside. Then we have one over nine plus r squared, squared. And then the dA is just r dr d theta. Now we have um, this thing. And I'll put the R there, get rid of it there. And we're looking at that integral now. Well, this is a little bit easier. In fact, it's so easy, we can do it in one step. We got the R here. I'm going to transform this into a 9 plus R squared to the negative 2. And uh, if we're integrating this over dr, and it's super easy because, look, we have the derivative of the inside. The derivative of the inside is 2R, two, two right? And um, we see an R sitting there on the outside. So it's great. We can we can actually just quickly integrate this in one step. We'll go 9 plus r squared minus 1. Here's the r. We'll divide that by the minus 1. And then we're going to divide it also by the derivative of the inside. So it's going to be the 2r in there. And uh, that should give us the whole answer. So now we're going to move that from 0 to infinity. Um, these r's are going to cancel. So we're going to be left with... Um, um, this is a, to the negative one power. So it's like one over nine plus r squared. And then there's still gonna be a two over here. And it's also like a negative over here. So it's negative and then here's a two. So that's the entire thing. This is going from zero to infinity. And uh, we'll go ahead and just plug the infinity in there. It's gonna be zero. And then we're gonna subtract the next thing, which is supposed to be negative one divided by, if that goes away to zero, this is gonna be 18 on the bottom. And so we're left with just 1 over 18 after this entire integral. And then we'll do the second step, which is d theta. I mean, it's really easy because now we know it's 0 to 2 pi, and here's 1 over 18, and here's d theta. We're just going to multiply this by the 2 pi on top. So we get 2 pi over 18, and it's going to simplify down to pi over 9. Bam.